Welcome back to Traveling Dice. This is Jason. We have game two of our escalation campaign between the Wood Elves and the Orcs and Goblins. Just as a reminder, this is an escalation campaign. Every game we're increasing by 100 points. The first game was at 500 points. On the 11th game, we're going to get a bunch of bonuses for any victories that we had uh, throughout the campaign. So each victory is going to give us 50 points to add to the final match to determine the winner. So this is our 600 point round. Each round you can drop 20% of your army in addition to adding the 100 points. So the Wood Elf player has dropped his unit champion in the archers. He dropped one of his two great eagles and he dropped the iron curse icon on his level two spell singer. So this freed him up to go ahead and add in a second unit of tree kin. He also added the true flight arrows to the archers. So this is his 600 point army. My army, the orcs and goblins here, I didn't drop anything. I wanted to give these guys another chance to redeem themselves. So I've got my uh, goblin wolf chariot, my block of night goblin spearmen. That is a block of, let's see, 29 with my two characters. I have a level two and my goblin lord. Bringing back the troll, the doom diver, the Night Goblins do have the two Fanatics, and I added in a block of Savage Orcs. This is 11 Savage Orcs, no command, they have the additional hand weapon. So in this match, we are gonna use the following pieces of terrain. We have the barn, the three fences, the hill, the forest, and then the Wood Elf player is going to add his forest. We have the two Spellcasters, so the level two. He did switch the lore, he's on beasts this round. And he has Whistling's uh, Wild Form, the signature spell. And he also has uh, the Savage Beast of Horrors, which uh, augments the a character. In this case, it would just be the Spell Singer, giving him, I think it's plus three strength, plus three attacks. My level two has the uh, Night Goblin spell. He's on the Little Wa. He has the Gift of the Spider God, which would give a unit uh, poison attacks. And then he has a Hex, which the target has to reroll sixes. I think it's to hit, uh, to wound, and armor saves. All right, we'll show you where we're at after deployment. All right, so we just finished placing the terrain and deploying our armies. So on the Wood Elf player side, we have on his right flank, a uh, unit of three tree kin. Towards his center, another unit of three tree kin. The archers with the level two spell singer are kind of tucked away in here in this forested area with uh, fenced walls. And then on his left flank, he has his great eagle. Uh, on his left flank, just past the deployment zone, we have a building. And then on my right flank, we have the forest. I have the savage orcs, which are directly facing off against the archers. My troll, the doom diver in the center. The doom diver is six inches away from the troll, so you know, hopefully he doesn't get killed the first round, uh, but he is six inches away from this guy, uh, my big general's unit. So my general's unit here, and then on my left flank, I have my chariot. All right, let's roll to see who goes first. You get a plus one. So I got a five. And you got a two, it looks like. All right, so I'll go first. All right, so I just finished my turn one. The Night Goblin block failed its animosity and then got a will show them result. So they went up four inches and then did another march move. So this got them uh, up about 12 inches just to get it in my opponent's face. I'm thinking I got the Fanatics, so um, not much downside here. The Chariot moved up on my left flank. The Troll passed the Stupidity Test, marched up. Savages marched up as well, so closing in on my opponent here. The Doom Diver fired and hit the archers during my shooting phase, and I only got one hit, so I only killed one guy. And on my magic phase, I actually decided it wasn't worth the risk to cast. My two spells are Augment and Hex, and I don't think my opponent's going to charge me. The only unit he's really close enough to charge would be this one, and he'd have to eat the fanatics to do that. So I felt like I was going to hold off on magic for now. All right, we'll go to the bottom of turn one. 
Just finished the bottom of turn one. The tree can on my opponent's right flank moved up, releasing the fanatics, getting within eight inches. One of the fanatics went through, did two wounds to the tree can, which is awesome. Uh, it would have been nice to get that third wound through and, and peeled one of those guys off. The other one only went seven inches, so he's kind of right there. We have the tree can kind of hanging back, protecting the archers. The archers um, did shoot at the troll doing a wound there. And prior to that, actually, during the magic phase, my opponent was able to cast wild form on those tree kin. So they're gonna be strength five, toughness six. I think those guys are base toughness five. So they're, they're kind of a big deal. Uh, but I do have two units within charge range. So we'll see what I decide to do. The eagle moved up on the flank here, threatening either flank charges or redirects. We'll see what he does. All right, so we're going over to turn two. All right, so we're still in the middle of my turn two. During my turn two, I tried to declare a double charge on the treekin, the Goblin Wolf Chariot, as well as the Night Goblin block. The Night Goblins rolled Snake Eyes for their charge distance, which is bad. They didn't, they didn't need a huge amount. Uh, probably only needed like a four. But that was a failed charge. I mean, the Chariot went in on its own. The Fanatics then go nuts. Both Fanatics go through the treekin. Um, somehow go through the treekin, but miss the chariot, which is great. And they do a couple wounds. So he's down one treekin, despite the wild form. So despite the toughness six on those guys. My troll and savage uh, orcs move up. My doom diver misfires, but gets the six result, shoots in a random direction, and just decides to shoot off to the right there for some reason. So we are off over to combat. All right, so we finished the combat here. The Wolf Chariot goes in, uh, does no damage. The Lavrel's poorly for the impact hits, fails the sphere test, and the Treekin, despite having the Gorkle fix it, that re-rolling sixes to hit and uh, all that jazz, they just murder it, doing four wounds to the Chariot. My block of Night Goblins was within six inches, but fortunately they passed their panic test. So bottom of turn two, the Treekin, Charge in on the night goblins. The great eagle goes in on the flank of the troll. The other tree can are moving in on the savage orc unit. My opponent's wizard gets 11 for the winds of magic. He throws six dice at wild form targeting this unit. He gets irresistible force. He kills a couple archers as a result of the miscast and he takes a wound. He's out of range of any shooting because everything's in combat here and the Doom Diver's too far away. So we're gonna go over to combat. All right, so we just finished off turn two. The Eagle goes in on the Troll. Uh, it doesn't get any damage through. The Troll managed to put two wounds on the Eagle, so that combat's a push and the Troll reforms. We jump over to the Savage Orcs. The Savage Orcs end up taking two wounds during the regular combat and then one wound from the Stomp. They do manage to kill a Treekin, uh, but they're down by one in that combat. They hold, but they're going to lose their frenzy. They're going to lose the strength bonus from the choppa. So they might really struggle over there. The night goblins do two wounds on the treekin, killing one of those guys. Uh, the treekin were able to strike first. He puts a wound on my shaman, which is less than ideal. And then he kills three other uh, night goblins. He's down by, we actually push on this, but I have the uh, musician. So he's down by one. He breaks and he only rolls a four for his um, fleeing distance. And I'm pursuing and I uh, roll a three. So he's an inch away from me there, but he's running. All right, we're going to go over to the top of turn three. All right, so we just finished the top of turn three. My night goblins declare the charge on the fleeing treekin. He has to flee. I do run him down. Unfortunately, I end up stepping on this fanatic and taking uh, five casualties, and that kills that fanatic as well. Treekin will be gone. The other fanatic decides he's going to go ahead and roll doubles, so he strangles himself with his chain. We go on to the magic phase, and I roll an 11 for the Winds of Magic, and I actually managed to get off both of my spells. So we have the Gorkle fix it on these guys, and then we have the poison attacks on a troll. The troll just outright kills the eagle in combat, and he reforms towards the archers. The Treekin uh, beat the Savage Orcs. And 
you know, I they're they're down the strength, they're down the frenzy, so they're down a bunch of stuff. He only kills two. I'm steadfast, but even on their own leadership seven, they break. They do get away, so they're going to move seven inches away, and he's rolled a six for his pursuit. So he'll be an inch behind once we resettle, and the Doom Diver managed to kill another archer. So we're going over to the bottom of turn three. All right, so we just finished up the bottom of turn three. The tree can charge the savage orcs and run them down. So that unit's removed, and the tree can are either in my deployment zone or close to it, and they're closing in on the Doom Divers here. The magic phase, uh, my opponent tries to do the uh, boosted, uh, I'm sorry, regular Savage Horrors spell on himself, giving him plus three attacks and plus three strength, anticipating a possible charge from the troll, who is just barely within 12 of my general. I managed to dispel that one, and then he fails on the wild form, despite throwing three dice at it. So he doesn't get any spells off. In the shooting phase, he gets three wounds through on the troll, and I needed to make two out of those three regeneration saves, and I make two. So he trolls down to one wound here. My opponent will get a stand and shoot, so it'll be interesting to see how that he fares, assuming I can pass my stupidity check, of course. All right, we're going over to the top of turn four. All right, so the top of turn four has occurred. The troll declared the charge on the archers. He did a stand and shoot. He did three wounds, which means I had to make all three of these regeneration saves or else the troll was gonna die. And I made all three of them. So the troll got in there. On my magic phase, I end up casting Gorkle Fix It on the archers. So they're gonna hopefully have a hard time with that troll. And then I go to cast Stupidity, or sorry, uh, Poison on the troll. And I miscast Irresistible Force. My Shaman dies, but I do get the spell through, so that's good. Uh, we're going to go over to combat. All right, so the Troll, just being an MVP over here, he's going in. He's taking six attacks on the way in. He's only got one wound left. My opponent uh, doesn't get any wounds through. I don't even have to make any saves. The Troll kills one Archer with his regular attacks. Which is too bad. He, My opponent failed his fear check. So I'm hitting on threes, wounding on twos. Only got one through. And then he kills another guy with a stomp. So I win the combat. My opponent is steadfast. He breaks. And he rolls a seven. And I roll a four for pursuit. So I didn't quite catch him. So my opponent's going to get a chance to rally here. And the Doom Diver was too close to really get an effective shot off on the tree can. So over to the bottom of turn four. Bottom of turn four, the tree can wheel and are in prime charging uh, area of the Doom Diver. My opponent's general's unit does rally over there. And during his magic phase, he managed to cast Savage Beast of Horus on his general. So he is now fully fighting general here. Going over to the top of turn five. All right, so things are all wrapped up here at the top of turn five. The... Uh, Night Goblins fail their animosity. They have to charge the archers, which ends up being fine. The troll passes stupidity. They both charge the archers. The Night Goblins take two casualties from a stand and shoot on the way in. Um, and they just decimate that unit. Despite having the Savage Beast of Horos, my general and issues a challenge to his general and doesn't take any damage. Um, his ward saves are hot. He kills my opponent's general. And then there's only one archer left alive. He fails his break test and gets run down. The tree can will gobble up the doom diver here, but it is going to be a victory for the orcs and goblins. So the campaign stands at one victory apiece. We'll see you next week as we go up to 700 points. If you enjoyed this and you want to see next week's episode, please like and subscribe. Bye for now.